In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at CSS inheritance and in specifics how that relates to fonts. Now, CSS inheritance is kind of a broad topic and we're just going to introduce it now. Some CSS properties and a lot of the font and text properties happen to be a set that inherit, inherit from the parent element to a child element. So in order to illustrate this, we're going to set up our HTML a little bit different. We're going to have a div tag and inside of that div tag, we're going to have a paragraph tag. So this is a paragraph of text. And we'll close that paragraph off. And then we'll just do some blank text right here. And we're just going to call this the div text for now. So let's save this. Let's go back to our CSS sheet and just delete everything for now so we don't have anything being applied. And we'll come back here and refresh our web browser. So again, this text is coming from the div and this text is actually coming from a paragraph inside of the div. So we have a parent and a child relationship, the parent tag being the div and the child being the paragraph. Now we're gonna look at how the font and, and text size properties inherit from one element to another. Not all CSS properties inherit You'll have to look up an exhaustive list to figure out exactly which properties do it and do not inherit. Now in our style sheet, let's set up a rule for our div tag. And let's also set up a CSS rule for our paragraph tag. So this will affect the div and this will affect the paragraph. And we're going to set the font dash size to 24 points and save and refresh. Okay. Now we would expect that the font of the div would increase to 24, 24 points, which is in fact this text. So let's come and refresh and you can see how both of these actually increase to 24 point. And that is because this child paragraph inherits the font size of the parent element div, meaning that this CSS property is being passed down to all of the children of div, regardless of what they are. So again, that font size is an inheritable property, not all are. Now, what we wanna to do to illustrate how this absolute and relative paths, um, or sorry, absolute and relative font sizing and units of measure work, we're gonna set the font size up here on this div to a fixed value for now. So we're gonna set this equal to, let's say 20, pixels. And then down here in the paragraph tag, let's set the font size to a relative unit of measure. Let's set this equal to oh, 18. Um, whoops, not points. We want to set this equal to, let's just do two M's and we'll save and refresh. So let's come over here to our browser and refresh. So again, this one is now explicitly set to 20 pixels and this one is set to two M's. You can see how this text now is twice the size of the previous or the parent element. So it inherited the 20 pixels and the, the paragraph is now twice the 20 pixels. So if I set this 20 pixels to 40 pixels and save and refresh, you can see they both increase because this is now twice 40 pixels. So you can see that font sizes inherit and relative font sizes are always based off of some sort of parent element, whether that be a fixed size or a relative size. So that's a little intro on the CSS units and how those properties can inherit. 